this concludes our series on bringing your house plants and other fruiting plants into your home for the winter. I hope you have learned something from this series and that it's helped you with maybe a beloved plant that you have. There are a number of things though where I would like to adjust your expectations. First of all, in no way can you ever duplicate the amount of light and the quality of light that you get when a plant is outside. So live with the fact that the plants are going to respond, sometimes only very gently, to reduced light conditions. They respond by not growing as fast, sometimes they yellow, sometimes they droop, but it's never a positive response. It's not your fault, it's just a fact of light, a fact of light rather than life. The second thing in order to adjust your expectations appropriately is the issue of watering. When you bring a plant indoors, you need to water about half as much as you normally would. And, and I say that in general. There perhaps are some plants that are gonna require the same amount of water. You have to watch the plant and listen to what it's telling you in that first month that it's inside. So, in general, water about half as much as you would normally water. And then the third thing is that many plants throughout the winter go into their own kind of dormancy. They don't grow at all or they drop some leaves, but whatever it is, many plants during the winter if they don't totally die back, they go into some sort of dormancy for the time that they're inside during the winter. All of these factors lead me to the last statement I'm gonna make about bringing plants indoors. No matter what you do, no matter how good you are, some, if not all of your plants, are not going to look as beautiful as they did when you brought them inside. If you're like me, they look like hell by the end of the winter, but that's okay because a few weeks outside and they're better than ever. I encourage you, bring your plants inside. They're not that much work and boy, they're so nice to have in a room just full of green plants, even if they're struggling. So good luck with bringing your plants inside and uh, keep up the gardening. If you have enjoyed this video, please come to our website, www.harvesting-history.com, where you can purchase heirloom, non-GMO vegetables, flowers, and herbs. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends our channel. On the left side of your screen, there is our most recent video, and on the right side of your screen is one of our playlists. We are Harvesting History, Seeding the Future.